WordPress database and connect to this database locally by a DB client like DBiver using Cloud COI and Cloud SQL Proxy. In case you haven't had a Google Cloud account, you can try to register the new one by accessing console.cloud.google.com. Agree with the terms of service and activate your free trial on the top left of the site. I've already had it, so let's move to create a new project. Then new project. I'll name it Cloud Service Dev for Dev Environment, or maybe Cloud Service QA for QA Environment, for example. Then click Create. Yeah, we have to wait a little bit for the yeah, and then select the project. I want to make sure that we are already underwriting. Yeah, you can double check it here. And then now finding the Cloud SQL. Yeah, I already been it here. But if you want to check, you want to, yeah, go to the databases and Cloud SQL. Then Ray Intense out to PostgreSQL. Yeah, we need to enable ABI first because this is the first time. So I'll name it called DB and called password for the default user address. Out to version fourteen. For the region, I'll check with the ZCP link. It seems like Singapore could be an option. Yeah, Hong Kong could be another option as well. So let's try with Singapore. Well, it's expensive. So let's try Hong Kong, Taiwan. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, Taiwan. Yeah, it's still acceptable. Okay, I don't really need a multiple drone, so I will do single drone. For the Martin Thai, I'll do share card because I don't want to pay that much money for demo purpose. I'll do 10 gigabyte storage XDD and yeah, turn off the backup. So I think that's right now is reasonable for demo purpose. So react intense. So we could see some information here about the connection name. Let's take a look at the very inside. Yeah. The, the connections, the users. In the moment, we don't have any user here because the instance is being created. Yeah, it's the same with database. Okay, so now the database is created successfully. We can double check again the connection, the user. Now we saw that there's one user progress here and also there's one database name progress. Yeah, that's all. We now are able to connect to it. 
the simplest way to connect to the Cloud SQL database is by using the Cloud SQL proxy combined with the Cloud CUI. Okay, okay let's download it. I'm using the Mac M1, so I will choose this. I'll download it on my desktop. We still need to make it executable. Okay, let's try to run it. This one will create a connection between your local hot and the real instances. The real instance. So we need to provide the instant name for the port number you can choose anything you want but I refer the 5432 is the default port of port address okay yeah it should work because we haven't provided any credential for it so that's why we need to install the CRI. But actually, we have the other way is you know provide a credential file. But I don't really want to do this. This time is quite complicated, and relating to the Google Cloud C IAM. So we will stick with the install link the Cloud CRI. So. We need to download it first. Yeah, and preferable to install in the home directory. Okay, we're reminding that. Okay, we have the Cloud SQL Proxy. And the Google Cloud CUI we just downloaded. Let's drag it here. So we have a Google Cloud SDK. Okay, let's move it to your home directory. Okay, double check. Okay, here. So we now can install it. You want to have you go to Google? You want to continue? Yes. If it long to use, okay, I'll leave blank, and that's it. Okay, so now we need to initialize the cloud CUI. Okay, let's copy it. Yeah, I already have it before, so. I will stick with the brand new configuration and I'm at the car configuration tab. Hmm. Maybe we need to wait for a little bit. Okay, they ask us to log in. Yes. So I log in with the email.
and I love to do that. I will do the cost of it there. No, I don't really want to set that rotated time. Okay, let's try and test the Cloud SQL proxy again. Okay, this time it's ready for the new connections. And I think we can accept the database from our Lion database. For example, I will use the dbber create a new connection here to the Postgres SQL. Next, the local host, the default port of the Postgres. And if you remember, the database is Postgres and the username is also Postgres. The password is the card password. Test connection. Yes. And now we can access to the Cloud SQL Progress on Google Cloud. As you can see, there's two new connections was related. That's all. Thanks for watching.